Thank you for purchasing a Shacked Baby Wolf Loom. Whether you picked it up at your dealer or had your dealer deliver it to your door, we want to make sure that setting up your new loom is as easy as possible. Jane Patrick, Shack's Creative Director, is demonstrating the process using our H-Shaft Baby Wolf Loom. The process is much the same for the Mighty Wolf and some aspects of our Wolf Pup. Unfolding the Loom Remove the packaging from the loom. Unscrew the back beam knob and the front machine screw just enough to remove the shipping brace. You can discard the brace. Repeat on the other side. Leave the beater retainer string in place for now. It is there to keep the beater from falling when unfolding the loom. To unfold the loom, slightly loosen the two black fold knobs on either side of the castle. Generally, a single turn is sufficient. Please note, loosening the knobs too much or removing them can cause the loom to collapse, which could result in injury. Pull the front and rear beams together slightly. Pull the slide lock bars out towards you. Continue holding on to the front and rear beams while allowing the loom to unfold. When the loom is all the way down in the open position, push the fold knobs down to the bottom of the slots and tighten. Installing the beater peg. You can now cut the beater retainer string and you're ready to install the beater pegs. Tap the slotted end of the beater peg into the hole on the outside of the beater upright. Working from the inside of the beater, fasten each peg with the provided screw. Repeat for the other side. Attaching the warp beam crank handle. To attach the warp beam crank handle, locate the washer, cap nut, and the wooden crank handle in the accessory bag. Place the washer and then the metal crank handle on the rod with the wooden crank handle facing out. Secure it with the cap nut. Tighten the nut with a handle, turning clockwise. To turn the beam, engage the crank by pulling it onto the cap nut. When weaving, the crank handle should be pushed off the cap nut and left hanging freely. Attaching the apron rods. To attach the apron rods, first install the apron cords in each beam. Notice that the cord is made from a series of loops. You will have one cord for each hole in the cloth and warp beams. Insert one end of the apron cord through a hole in the beam and pull the cord about halfway through. Then working from each end, insert one end of the cord through the second loop of the other end of the cord. Pull firmly to tighten. Repeat this process across both the cloth and warp beams. To attach the apron bar to the apron cords, create a loop in the end of each cord. To do this, pinch the cord about 4 inches from the end. Insert the pinched end through the second loop at the end of the cord. Pull the pinched cord until a new loop forms that is large enough for the apron bar to slip through. Repeat this for each cord. Once you have created your loops, slide the apron bar through the loops and pull tight. To store the apron bar, roll it up on the beam. Now you are ready to repeat the process on the other beam. Using the beater pin. The small metal pin attached to the front leg is used to hold the beater upright during warping. To engage the pin, push it through the hole in the leg and then through the slot in the beater side. To disengage, pull out the beater pin and replace it in its holder before weaving or folding the loom. Installing the heddles. The easiest way to install your heddles is to remove the shafts from the loom. You will first need to remove the nut securing the jack pin to the center of the shaft. When you unscrew the nut, the little black ring on top of the nut will come off as well. The rings are only in place to prevent the nuts from vibrating loose during shipping. It's not necessary to reinstall them for weaving. Pull the shaft straight out of the loom. Place each shaft on a flat surface and release the heddle bar hooks. Slightly flex the heddle bars to remove them. Decide how many heddles you want on each shaft. Each holding bar contains 100 heddles. Without removing the heddles from the holding bar, count the number of heddles you want to transfer to the first shaft. Snap the black clip 
off one end of the holding bar by pressing down on the black button on the reverse side. Lay the holding bar next to the heddle bars you remove from the shaft. Carefully slide the desired heddles onto the heddle bars. Reinsert the heddle bars into the slots in the shaft and secure with the heddle bar hooks. Adjusting the heddle bars. We have set the heddle bar hooks at a standard depth here at the factory. However, if you find your heddles are not sliding freely, it means the heddle bars are held too tightly on the heddle bars and need adjusting. Check to be sure that the heddle bar hook is approximately 3 inches from the outside of the frame. Make a note of the position of the groove in the heddle bar hook before proceeding. Release the heddle bar from the hook and pull the heddle bar out of the way. Using a wrench or pliers, turn the heddle bar hooks clockwise to tighten or counterclockwise to loosen. If your heddle bars are too tight on the bars, you will need to loosen the heddle bar hook. Usually one full turn will do. Be sure the groove in the heddle bar has been returned to the same position. If your heddle bar does not seat properly in the groove, it means that your heddle bar hook needs adjusting. It needs to be perfectly aligned to perform properly. Replace the shaft back in the loom and secure the jack pin with a hex nut. It doesn't matter which shaft goes into which slot. Installing the tie-up cords. There is one tie-up cord for every lamb hole. For eight shaft and four now four later looms, you will have an extra ten tie-up cords for the treadle aid. Loop one end of each tie-up cord through a hole in the lamb. You can install all of the tie-up cords or just enough for each project. The button on the end of the tie-up cord slips into the slot in the corresponding treadle. To tie up your loom, begin at the front and work towards the back, completing the tie-up on each treadle before proceeding to the next. The Treadle Aid All eight shaft and four now four later baby wolf looms come with a treadle aid. The treadle aid is useful for certain unbalanced weeds when six to seven shafts are raised. To prevent the shafts from floating, the treadle aid is attached to the rear brace. To install your treadle aid, you will need 10 rubber bands, 10 tie-up cords, and a quarter inch dowel. Start at the center of the treadle aid. Slide a rubber band onto the dowel and poke the rubber band into the center hole. An unfolded paper clip helps to install the rubber bands. Attach a tie-up cord to the end of the rubber band. Repeat side to side working out to the edge until all of the rubber bands and tie-up cords have been installed. Please note, you only need to use the treadle aid at times when you are experiencing floating shafts due to unbalanced weaves. is now ready to use. For further information and to view our assembly manual online, please visit our website at shackspindle.com. And happy weaving from all of us at Shack Spindle. <laughs>